how can we set our kids up for success and ourselves as parents yeah. during those meltdowns, maybe to prevent them? Yes, absolutely. So prevention is always number one. First thing after school, they're just gonna be ready to decompress okay. and they may want a snack. Right. So we all know that coping and regulating mm -hmm. is significantly more difficult when you're hungry. Okay. It's the okay. same with our kids. Yeah. And so eat, maybe even have a snack and drink ready for them in the car. Okay. So, you know, give them a snack, make sure their bellies are full. Number two, um, silence. Mm. Just give them a chance to process their okay. day. So yeah. maybe avoid, right, you know, right when they get in the car, maybe avoid all those demands and questions right. and yeah. stressful. Talk to me, talk to me, talk yes, to me. Yes, yeah. yes. Just give them that silence that they need from uh -huh. their school day just okay. to process. Mm -hmm. Same with homework. So I know okay. as parents, you're yeah. thinking, what is our night routine going to look like? Yeah. How can we get this homework yeah. done? Okay. And then lastly, allow for some free play okay. when they get home. So yeah. again, they've been in that structure and routine and those mm -hmm. demands all day long. Yes. Um, and so just giving them a, just some, a chance to play outside, yeah. get that fresh air that mm -hmm. they may not have got at school or may not have got enough of at right. school. Mm -hmm. um, or maybe if they can't go outside, just some quiet activities at home. Okay. So and they get to over, choose. They yeah. get to choose. Mm -hmm. It's child led. It may yes. look like puzzles, mm -hmm. painting, coloring. Play-Doh, just something that's quiet right. that they can do um, and it doesn't require a lot of that brain activity.